independence in Ghana was meant to bring a betterment in the lives of Ghanaians. And so today provides an occasion for us to celebrate, but also to reflect on what independence really means. For me, it is an invitation to reflect on whether or not we are capable of managing our own affairs as Dr. Kwame Nkrumah has said. He said that the black man is capable of managing his own affairs. But if after 60 years of independence, we all want to be abroad, then it raises the question whether or not we are really capable of managing our own affairs. So I invite fellow Ghanaians to celebrate, but also to have time to reflect on what each of us can do as individuals and contribute to the betterment of the Ghanaian society. Enjoy the occasion, but have time to reflect as well. Thank you, and God bless Ghana. My name is Dr. Dominic Dagbanja, and I am a lecturer at the University of Western Australia. Thank you. Right now, compared to other parts of the world, Without our music, we are nothing. We have nothing. We only have our music. And for me, that's why I want to keep our culture, because I believe without our culture, we, we don't have anything. Uh, everything else is coming from other part. And that's why I'm putting in the young generation that is coming. So by the time I grow old, they can, we can have them around doing it as well. Ghana is in control of her own affairs, our own economy and our resources. We have achieved political emancipation, which is very good for us as a free nation. perspective there's a lot of culture shock that comes with it when you arrive here you are come from a culture where people are very warm and welcoming the brief welcome from the people that they meet when they arrive to integrate or to meet new people is often very very challenging because the Australian demeanor is not one that that promotes that level of interaction if I meet somebody on the street or if I'm walking past somebody on the street it generally is the look that they have is one that doesn't call me in to speak to them. If I speak to them, it's because I need something. And at that point, that's when you can see how welcoming they are. They are really, really awesome people. and they're, they're, But I think it's just a cultural thing where people are very standoffish until you approach them. What happens for, from, from an African person's perspective is it makes me think twice about chatting to you. And then if I'm integrating or I'm thinking about going to networking events, that becomes a real challenge for me because I'm thinking, oh, how am I going to talk to these people at this event? If they don't really, if I, if I get in my head that they don't really want to talk to me, how am I going to think about doing these things? It becomes very challenging at work. So if I'm here for school, or I'm here for work, the integration and the interaction is usually very difficult. In our community, we do have at the emotional and bullying. We tend to keep a very secretive life, I think. People, most of the people that come over here, they tend to want to be by themselves. They think that, oh, I've relocated over here. I'm going to stay away from my community people because I don't want any trouble. But it is actually works out the opposite they tend to be more isolated and have depression and have emotional traumas and that actually leads to that emotional violence and physical violence which would be happening in the communities and because we live so secretive lives it affects us in some way that we don't know and it, it doesn't help in any way it's, it's not good for anyone and that's the the problems we are having in the community <laughs> A wall in a church, and it is a calabash. One of the materials we use for this place. 
So at home, we use it in a different way. One of which is, instead of umbrella, with a young baby on your back, when it is raining, you use that. At the same time, as a choli, we use this for putting our food, all right, instead of a plate. At the same time, we call like a really nice beer, which is we call white stuff, quite So we use that also for drinking it, all right? And that is what we are using all this for. At the same time, when there is an issue within the family, you take this as a blessing cup. So you put a bit of water in there, the elders come and bless the family. That is what it is used for. You can see how pretty we are. There is a difference between equity and equality because some people will ease in equality when it's not equity. You have to learn to be fair and, and fairness goes with equity as well as equality. They kind of work hand in hand. Yeah, since my marriage break down, I, you know, you become stressed, you become depressed. Even your views for Australia change automatically. You supposed to be enjoying life with your family, but you are not doing it anymore. We have you in the back home people you're helping. We pay school fees for other people, and these people they want to eat. They need food. They need a lot of stuff. But it, that's coming from you. But when you are down, you have no work. You have no place to stay. This is is you have conflict or that you it's not helping anymore you know it's not helping is is just pushing you away from like doing good thing when we came here uh, we found ourselves uh, in a very good place uh, we will be doing good stuff and we're very happy people and you know uh, I'll be very successful person and really we started now I feel uh, I can see is totally different not in me uh, some of people I know some of African people uh, what I mean is life we're thinking we are going to have here it changes because of, uh, for me, it's just a culture or a system. For us, it's totally different. A different why? Because back home, we is is communities. Whatever happened to you, whatever uh, you are going through, there is a community. There is a people around. There is people involved. And those people, they not only come to support one side, but they come try to bring that thing together. African kids, is in general, it's been said the whole village raises the child. So that means mum and dad, uh, grandparents, uncles, aunties, etc. Let's just praise the most I live in love. Living love, living love. Africa outweighs its creator. Oh.